Hello everyone, today we are gonna unbox the new remote tester. It has just been released and you can find the purchase info from your local dealer. Let's open the box and take out the remote tester. We can see it comes with a customized lanyard with X logo on it. The lanyard can be tied to the product, which is very convenient. Let's take a look at the product. It's battery operated and this is battery cover. Remove the cover, you see the battery compartment. We'll need two AAA batteries to power it up. On the front of the device, we can see a power button at the bottom. Install the batteries, the power light will be on. On the upper left corner, this is the immobilizer and door handle signal indicator light. And this is the infrared indicator light. In the middle part, you'll find a frequency test area, which allows you to test 315, 433, 868, 902 MHz in other common frequencies. The device will automatically shut down after about 30 seconds early to ensure you get the best battery life. Then, let's talk about how to use the remote tester exactly. When you put the device near the door handle or the ignition coil, you'll see the immobilizer light is flashing and you'll hear the beep sound. When you place a remote close to the remote tester, it will just stop flashing. The device now can detect common frequencies and now let's give it a try. We have a 315 MHz remote. You can see this indicator light is flashing when the frequencies are in the range from 305 MHz to 320 MHz, followed by 433 MHz. And this light will go active when the frequencies are in the range from 430 MHz to 436 MHz. And now we detect 868 MHz. 902 megahertz this area is for infrared signal detection the light will turn on when it receives infrared signal the remote tester comes with a magnetic design which is more convenient to use and the compact body makes it easy to carry out. Okay, that wraps up all the features about the new remote tester. Let us know if you have any further questions. Bye!